up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 chevy trailblazer courtesy of turner chevrolet in harrisburg pa i'm excited for this one brought back from the dead essentially if you guys remember trailblazer did used to be a thing up until 2009 it is now back and a very smart move by chevy in my opinion since suvs are all the craze right now of course this one essentially slots in between the tracks and the chevy blazer and looks a heck of a lot like the chevy blazer there's an old chevy trailblazer right in front of me there that's pretty cool they're still on the road what do you know having said that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. So as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2021 Trailblazer. First one being the L, starting at $19,995. LS for $22,495. LT for $24,595. There is the Active for $26,395. And the RS being the one we have today, starting at once again, $26,395. But so dependent upon the trim level that you go with, there are actually two different engine configurations for the Trailblazer. First one, belonging to the LLS front wheel drive and LT front wheel drive. That power plant is going to come from a 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder, putting out 137 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 162 pound feet of torque available at 2,500 RPM, power sent to the front wheels through a CVT, giving you MPG numbers coming in at approximately 28 in the city, 31 highway taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then the other engine configuration belonging to all other trim levels essentially including the all-wheel drive configurations for those last two trims I just mentioned, being the 1.3 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder once again, 155 horsepower, 5,600 RPM, 174 pound-feet of torque available at 1,600 RPM, sent to the front wheels or all wheels through a CVT. If you go with the front wheel drive configuration at least, if you were to opt for that all-wheel drive system, that is actually gonna give you a nine-speed automatic transmission. So that's probably the one I would recommend just for a little more driving emotion i guess you could say but all in all mpg numbers with that one 29 city 33 highway front wheel drive and 26 in the city 30 on the highway for the all-wheel drive once again taking regular unleaded fuel but so before we do any kind of accelerations when it comes to the drive modes of the chevy trailblazer there are going to be a few of them being normal sport and smart adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity actually. And so having said that, before we do that acceleration test in the Trailblazer, I did wanna press the checkered flag button, which is located just in front of the shifter. That is gonna be your sport driving mode. It does immediately just downshift for me there, holding the RPMs at a much higher level, giving you more power on demand. So therefore we are ready to do that acceleration test. So let me go ahead and find a straightaway here and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2021 Trailblazer here up to speed. All right. I found our straightaway in three, two, one. There it is. No spinning. That'll do the trick. Not the quickest thing in the world, but there was no spinning because of the all wheel drive system that we had on the RS turn level here today. So definitely more than enough of acceleration for merging onto the highway, things like that. Not the quickest thing in the world, but get a vet if you want something quicker, but certainly no issues emerging onto the highway, that'll do. But so then when it comes to the braking setup for the 2021 Trailblazer, actually not a whole lot of information out there right now. This vehicle is still very new at the time of me filming this video, but I can tell you just off the bat, braking feel is wonderful immediately brings this one to a stop there is no brake pedal delay or anything like that if i were to venture to guess the 60 to zero stopping distance i would guess it comes in at around 120 feet we'll see how close i am to that when some numbers actually come out but braking feel definitely feels very nice it immediately brings you to a stop in the trailblazer so i do like that touching on suspension and handling a little bit ride quality has been perfectly fine for me so far today steering feel is definitely on the weightier side especially in that sport driving mode that i have left it in for essentially this whole test drive here so far so i do like that but let me see if i take it out of that sport driving mode yeah, oh my goodness that is a uh, night and day difference good grief it is the loosest steering feel in the world now so i don't like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in sport but dang you usually don't notice that much of a difference but my goodness that is a big old difference in steering feel at least between the sport and normal driving mode so did want to mention that <laughs> As far as cabin noise goes, perhaps the first thing I noticed when I really cranked the air on when I first started this one up, it is a very quiet air conditioner, just as efficient as any other air conditioning system, but 
very quiet though, almost luxury like. So I definitely appreciate that because you don't want the extra wind noise when you're trying to film car reviews, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, touching on visibility, I really like visibility in the Trailblazer. One of the reasons I really like it, sometimes with second row headrests, they sometimes protrude up quite a bit blocking your rear visibility so with these you don't even have to push them down or anything because they're still relatively out of the way so i absolutely love that i can see perfectly fine out the back so certainly no issues for me there but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful 2021 chevy trailblazer all right so here she is you guys the all new 2021 chevy trailblazer looks a lot like a mini blazer in my opinion which is a good thing absolutely amazing aggressive looks and so let's go ahead and start up front on the trailblazer though unique front end is going to be had with the active and rs trim levels the other trim levels are going to look essentially the same up front black bow tie emblem you can find with the rs that we have today otherwise you're going to get that gold color emblem up front halogen headlights are going to come standard for all trim levels however having said that there is a technology package that goes for 1720 $20 for the active trim and RS and with that you can actually get LED headlights if you wanted to go that route but RS badging is going to be had of course with the RS trim level up front there LED daytime running lights also coming standard and you will get LED fog lights if you were to go with the LT trim level and up but then to make our way to the side of this one roof rails coming with the LT trim level and up two-tone roof like we have here today coming with the active and RS trim levels you will find rear privacy glass not for all trim levels but actually for for the LT trim level and up. I know that's super important for some people, but you could always, of course, tint that rear glass if you were to go with one of the lower trim levels, but LT trim level and up though is going to give it to you standard though. But floating roof line, you can find that towards the back of the Trailblazer there. When it comes to the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They definitely look good there. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 16 inch steel wheels with covers are gonna come with the L, 17 inch silver painted aluminum wheels coming with the LS, 17 inch gloss black aluminum wheels with the LT and active trim levels and the RS that we have today is going to bump that up once again to 18 inch gloss black aluminum alloy wheels. So definitely a good variation when it comes to the wheel configurations, dependent upon the trim level that you go with. But making our way now to the back, there is a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light that doesn't Indeed comes standard just below that rear window wiper LED taillights coming with the active and RS trim levels of course just below that you're gonna find trim level badging across the board and just below it all a single exhaust outlet if you go with the L LS or LT trim levels however if you were to go with the active or RS trim level you will get a dual exhaust outlet with chrome tips so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around back of the trailblazer when it comes to opening that rear lift gate it is actually a manual lift gate for all trim levels that is the standard setup at least however there is an optional power lift gate which we do of course have here today hands-free power lift gate might i add that comes with the sun and lift gate package that goes for 1770 dollars that of course also adds a panoramic sunroof hence the first part of that name as well so we do have that package today here so i can press the button on the key fob that is going to open it up there's also a button on the lift gate itself to close it and again it's a hands-free lift gate so you got that option there as well but nonetheless once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 25.3 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down bumping that up to 54.4 cubic feet it's a good bit of space back there rear cargo lighting of course comes standard across the board there are some tie down hooks that found back there as well actually a little bit of storage area to the right in the back too that's kind of indented a little bit back there and also underneath the cargo floor back there you can find a spare tire but also around that spare tire is actually a good bit of in-floor storage too so i did want to mention that so that's going to be there for you once again as well making our way now to the rear leg room though that comes in at 39.4 inches for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. As far as the rear ventilation goes, that comes for all trim levels. It's actually located under the front seats as opposed to the back side of the center armrest here in the front. So I did want to mention that as well. Rear center armrest with cup holders is going to 
come on the active trim and RS trims. It's gonna be optional on the LT. So that is how you're gonna be able to go ahead and get that. And you actually have a decent amount of hookups back there for those rear passengers as well, including a phone charging port, USB charging port, and a 115 volt power outlet, surprisingly. So you can actually charge up drills or maybe a hair straightener if you're a girl back there. That is pretty cool. I was actually very surprised to see that, especially at this price point in the Trailblazer. So well done Chevy for that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way now to the front seats. Manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the L and LS. LT trim level and up is going to give you a 10-way power driver's seat. RS is going to give you cloth leatherette combination. That is of course what we have today again. Active trim level is going to give you a full leatherette seating. And then there is a premium seating package I wanted to mention that is available for $845 for the LT trim level. That adds leatherette surfaces like the active trim. Also actually gives you a leather wrap steering wheel for the LT and a rear center armrest as well. And if you were looking for heated front seats in the Trailblazer, go with the LT trim level and up. That is gonna be how you're gonna go ahead and get them. But having said that, when it comes down to comfiness, perfectly fine for me. Definitely, first thing I noticed is the long bar adjustment on the driver's side seat here so that was absolutely wonderful and again that 10-way power driver's seat comes with the LT trim level and up but certainly very comfortable seats here in the Trailblazer then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for the active and RS trim levels and again optional on the LT so that's going to be there for you too and actually I do like with the RS trim level at least that it is a flat bottom with kind of this gloss black finish at the bottom too actually kind of really like that in my short test drive today and the red contrast stitching is nice perforated leather on the left and right hand side so I absolutely love it but let's go ahead and make our way now to the startup you got your Chevy bow tie logo on the one side of the key flip it over lock unlock button to pop the rear hatch and again that circular button in the middle in case you were curious that's actually a remote start that's going to come with the LT trim level and up and again with the push button start that's going to come with the LT trim level and up so let's go ahead and start this one all I'm going to do is simply put my phone on the brake and press that engine start button which is located just by the driver's right knee there Let's hope that once started up, you will get an RS specific gauge cluster with the RS trim level that we have today. So I did want to start by mentioning that, but nonetheless, tachometer on your left, speedometer on your right. Again, you have the RS lettering within the tachometer, kind of a carbon fiber-ish look for the middle portions of those gauges. That's pretty cool. Also, there's a decent sized digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There's actually steering wheel mounted controls on the right side. It actually gives you a good bit of information up there, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty you can choose to display a digital speedometer up there as well one of my favorite things is instant miles per gallon i was watching that a little bit it gives you your miles per gallon basically every second at any given time so it kind of incentivizes you to drive more eco-friendly i guess you could say so that's pretty cool but all in all a ton of different information you could check out up there it's all controlled through the steering wheel mounted control so but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality panoramic sunroof again it is part of that optional package that optional package again is available for the LT trim level and up we do have it today so letting in so much more light for this video so much appreciate that wireless phone charger is going to be optional for the RS and the active yet another option we have here today and that wireless phone charger is located just in front of the shifter there so and it's actually a decent size too for larger phones so I did want to mention that it's pretty cool automatic climate control just above that meaning you can set your own temperature and it's going to automatically bring you to that temperature just above the passenger side glove box you have a little bit of storage there with a rubberized bottom so things are less inclined to slide around there i do like the red accents throughout like just around the climate control vents above the passenger side glove box there's some red stitching to tie in with the red stitching on the actual steering wheel and the seats for that matter you do have a ton of hookups just in front of the shifter including auxiliary port usb charging port phone charging charging port 12 volt power outlet so got a lot going on there as well and there's actually a button to lock the trailblazer in all-wheel drive it's located just in front of the cup holders there so you got that too if it starts snowing perhaps in Pennsylvania like it sometimes does just to the right of the shifter you have your two cup holders and actually a little slot to place your phone there I guess if you wanted to just behind the cup holders a little bit more storage and of course within a center armrest a decent amount of storage there so a lot deeper than I thought it would be so definitely surprised there and you have a little tray you can pull out if you wanted to of course so 
did want to show you guys that too but all in all interior quality is pretty much as expected it to be at this price point for the trailblazer was kind of surprised to see the panoramic sunroof though as well as a wireless phone charger so that was pretty much the highlights when it comes to interior quality let's now though go ahead and take a look at the tech display seven inch color touchscreen display for all trim levels across the board however there is an eight inch color touchscreen display that is optional but i will say either way you still get android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the trailblazer and you can display free navigation therefore up on that tech display did want to also mention a super awesome feature for the 2021 trailblazer wireless android auto apple carplay is optional for the active trim level and the RS. So that's something new that's just starting to roll out now with 2021 models basically is the wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of that in the future, but the Trailblazer does have it as an option. That is pretty cool. But Bluetooth audio streaming also standard, of course. You can check out your radio settings up there when it comes to the sound systems on the Trailblazer. L trim is going to give you four speakers. All other trim levels are going to give you six speakers. And so yet once again, although the six speaker sound system is the standard configuration, we do have an optional Bose sound system here with us today. So what do you say? As always, you guys, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning. And let's test out the clarity of this one. And again, although there's no specs on that sound system, definitely feels like there's a subwoofer with that Bose sound system at least. That was plenty of clarity. The bass is really what impressed me, quite honestly. So that is more than enough of a sound system for the Trailblazer in the end. But last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display to you guys is when you do put the Trailblazer in reverse, you will find a rear view camera across the board coming standard letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side side curtain airbags do come standard also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also rear child door locks in the back tire pressure monitoring system but also standard across the board standard advanced safety is actually pretty good on the trailblazer lane keep assist lane departure warning forward collision alert front pedestrian braking and automatic emergency braking as well. Did want to mention there's a driver confidence package that is available for the LS trim level and up. That goes for $345, so not a bad deal for this one, but that adds side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and rear park assist as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, tech is pretty good for the price point on the Trailblazer, I will say that. Not the best fuel economy compared to the competition, but it's not too far off, quite honestly. And the looks kind of make up for it in my opinion this is a very good looking suv by chevy and again the blazer was just as good looking it still is so for its size it's a very good looking suv essentially would have liked to have seen led taillight standard on all trim levels but i guess you got to give and take in some areas but all in all this looks a lot kind of like the volvo xc40 to me let me know if you guys agree in the comments but this looks a lot like the xc40 i just reviewed that one earlier this year so it's kind of fresh in my mind maybe but it's a good thing because that's a good looking suv too but this of course is how the price but nonetheless that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video there you go